Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another pro tip. Today I'm here at the Zoo Flotman. You probably know this shop already from my previous videos. If not, check them out here. And today's pro tip is about a hardscape dojo. How to build one and why you should use it. Okay guys, so having a hardscape dojo serves several kind of problems or has several advantages for you. There is a parrot in the background, don't worry. Uh, he probably just gonna kill me. Anyway guys, so a hardscape dojo, you can build one easily yourself. Just, you know, it's a wooden box and I highly recommend having like, you know, in the front, have it a little bit shallow and make it a little bit taller in the back. This will allow you to create a slope of substrate. I would recommend using sand or very fine gravel. This way, you know, it's, it's not in the way for photographing, it's not in the way for looking at it, but it also allows you to just have a slope in the background for better hardscaping. I would say the best hardscape dojo is the same size your biggest aquarium is. So, and if you need it smaller, you can make sections in here. You can build in some, I don't know, some help lines or just draw them with a marker on the side wall. And uh, yeah, the very fine would be to have a glass made aquarium with no front glass, just a little bit of water to keep in the substrate. The purpose of having a hardscape dojo is, as the name tells you, to practice hardscaping. And why do you practice in sand and gravel? Because soil will crumble. So before you create a hardscape in your aquarium, you better build it in a hardscape dojo. This way your substrate will stay, I don't know, like brand new. And this kind of gravel is not gonna smash and not gonna crumble. You will have less dust and you have just clear water after filling in. So guys, uh, have fun building your own dojo and testing or improving your hardscaping skills and I'm gonna see you in the next one.